This has been branded the Animal Health Corridor because it stretches from Manhattan, Kansas to Columbia, Missouri. Globally, we have a third of the animal health industry in this stretch. This is the K-State Olathe campus. It's the third campus in the K-State system. So the initial building is the Animal Health and Food Safety Institute. This is a 108,000 square foot building. It's about a third research laboratory space, very flexible space. It's about a third teaching classroom type space, and it's about a third more public activity space, meeting rooms, that type of thing, all of which interact and overlap. What made this facility unique, and really the program of, of the whole building, were the different aspects of it. We, we've got lab components, so you are going to have tenants and companies from, from all over the nation coming in and using this facility. You've got classroom components, you have office components, you have R&D kitchens, so you have a lot of different users of the building. And so it was very important to K-State and really to all the user groups to have a facility that is very efficient and very flexible and very collaborative. We began working on programs and what we would do in this building before we even began building. And we knew that we needed input from all of our stakeholders. That's not only the faculty, but also the community. That's government. It's industry. We really got together and spent hours and hours collaborating, saying what's the best value solution. We weren't going for how much can we get for that dollar. We wanted the best value for the dollar. A very key component to this also is the Herman Miller team and uh, John A. Marshall and sitting down with us and really trying to understand the different spaces and the functions that would happen within those spaces. After they had discussions with us, then we would sit down with either the end users or with K-State, with Dan, and really to say, here are some of our thoughts, some of our ideas, what do you think about these different options? And that collaboration and that going back and forth with different opportunities really, I think, allowed everybody to get everything out on the table and talk about what would work best for the different spaces. That mix that we could get between the professional business environment and the professional academic environment. Because our overall mantra has been that we want this building to be flexible. So we didn't want a lot of built in, we wanted movable. The cat paw space um, was probably one of the more unique spaces in the whole uh, building and in the program. They wanted it to be very universal. It's a multi purpose space, so it has study corrals, it has comfortable furniture, and we are able to get around the table and we can put an image up on the screen. And it just gives us that opportunity to interact easier than we would sitting around a conference table. I, I'm, I'm so proud of the whole facility and when I walk into each space I see little nuances and little elements in each of the space that, that I think really gives that space character. I think most importantly the true test is that these industries are coming in here for board meetings, they're coming in here for meetings between groups. So we're not just getting people in the doors just because it's a pretty building. We're getting him here because it's starting to take on the aura of being the center for animal health in this quarter, which is exactly what we wanted it to do.